Hey there guys. In my previous video I uploaded where I was talking about my everyday carry items. Uh, in that video I mentioned that I wanted to swap from the XDS 45 to a full size 1911. At the time of filming I just didn't have my holster in the mail. I mentioned that I ordered a custom leather holster from craftholsters.com. Uh, it came in the mail two days ago. Ooh, excuse me. I am currently wearing it. I'm, I don't know if you could tell. Uh, pretty much invisible, hugs nice and close and snug to the body. It's right here on my hip. Um, now that, like I said, now that the holster came in, I've been wearing it for the last two days, just getting an overall feel of how I want to start carrying it. So in this video, I just want to do a quick, you know, first impressions, just go over some of the specs and pricing of the holster itself. Uh, so let's start. Don't mind the crotch shot. I'm going to remove the firearm and show you. There is no mag in, I was just wearing it for demonstration. No round in the chamber, shake it a little bit, there we go. Completely safe, set that off to the side. Uh, sorry about the crop shot again, I'm going to take the holster off. Let's get it off here. Alright, the hell with it, I'm just going to take my belt off for now anyways. Alright, the holster itself is a open top outside the waistband leather holster from craftholster.com they are a custom holster maker uh, this holster costed me $65 and then after the $5 shipping and handling it was up to $70 I mean for a custom holster for a 1911 you can't beat $70 uh, the only negative is that with being a custom leather holster I ordered it September 25th it took until, like I said, two days ago to get to me. So it's a little over a month. Uh, but what can you expect? Like I said, it's custom, it's leather. They do it old fashioned craftsman style, what they say on the website. Uh, the lines, the stitching is nice and straight. There's no overlaps, there's no crooked stitching, no frayed edges, anything like that. Really, really nice. The lines are nice and deep. Shows a nice detail of the firearm itself. Uh, trigger guard is nice and uh, molded. The ejection port just slightly, you can see it right there, slightly molded. Uh, it fits the gun perfect. Let me get that firearm back. As you can see, it really adds no bulk to the firearm itself. It pretty much hugs it, and as you saw, it was hugging it nice and close to the hip. Uh, pretty much, once you throw a light jacket or a over, I've got a long sleeve shirt underneath for those slightly warmer days uh, you just throw the shirt over it and it's pretty much out of sight what can I say uh, the fit is perfect when I got it in the mail two days ago it came with a break-in guide it's also on their website how to break in their leather uh, they give you three options one is place a, a bag over the firearm that's the option I chose oh, sorry got a little bit of fabric right there from my shirt uh, anyways uh, that's the option that I use. You place a plastic bag over the firearm because the holster it was super, super tight. Now it's, you know, it fits nice and snug. It's not going to come loose unless I really, you know, give it a, a wallet. <laughs> but yeah, at first it was super tight. Like just to reholster it, it would, it would push the slide back and get out of battery. I mean, I'm not complaining. I wanted it to be nice and tight fit. So... Yeah, that's the recommended way. One of the recommended ways they said, place your firearm in a plastic bag, force it into the holster, and leave it for 24 hours. Uh, I did that, I just left it overnight. And then I took it out of the bag and it was still a little tight, but then, you know, just sitting here watching TV, I would fit it in and out like that. I, yeah, yeah, you can manage that, it's like. <laughs> Anyways, um, but now, I mean, if it's still, it's still nice and tight, like I said, unless you really, want it to come out it won't file out um what else can i say about it uh the price like i said 70 bucks about a month wait i highly recommend checking out craftholsters.com uh i think they make over three to four hundred different firearm holsters they're an excellent website really nice customer service they emailed me oh i don't know how many times just they emailed me to let me know they received my order. They let me know when it was in the hands of a craftsman. 
let me know when they were packaging it, let me know when it was shipped, and then I got an email the day that it was finally, you know, shipped to my house. The day I received it, I also received an email letting me know it has been delivered. So a really awesome company, really, really great customer service. They kept on top of everything, let me know if I needed anything during the wait. So no complaints. Um, last thing I'll say is they, you know, they burnish the edges really well, nice and smooth both sides they didn't do the top which is mildly concerning i don't know if that's going to affect the you know the overall rigidity of this holster and speaking of rigidity they don't reinforce it they don't have a reinforcement piece of leather on the outside but as you can see you know holstering and unholstering the firearm is really easy it doesn't cave in on itself but only time will tell like i said i've only got two days so after about a month or so wearing it i'll give you an update to let you know if it started to lose its shape or if it caves in on itself after unholstering but as of right now it works perfectly fine so yeah that's pretty much it for the holster the firearm that it's molded for if i haven't mentioned it before is a rock island armory tac ultra it's their full size 1911 with the full size dust cover and picatinny rail it's got the forward and rear serrations uh if you want me to do a full review on this firearm just leave it down in the comments below and like this video uh please subscribe and I appreciate you guys, you know, taking the time out of your day to watch this video. And we'll see you in the next one. So thank you very much.